Hey, what's up? This is Anthony with AGT Exotics, and today we're going to film some feedings. I have um, a bunch of my uh, terrestrial kind of medium size and uh, one kind of larger size one we're going to do first here. And we're going to try to get some good photographs as well and uh, record some close ups with my uh, digital camera. So let's see how this goes. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, let's do our Firmictibus Cancerides first. Those are always lively little critters. I got my catch cups and everything ready here. I got a bunch of dubias all uh, picked appropriate size or so. Um, I do a method, or uh, I use a tool I call the um, it's a uh, hair trigger and it's just a toothpick or any kind of stick will work or a uh, shish kebab skewer with a uh, one piece of just something thin that's kind of firm but uh, it's flimsy but it makes enough reaction to the soil and the substrate around the animal that it simulates a uh, critter moving and this is one way that I check to see if they're even hungry. I've checked all these and they all responded to it. So I know that they're ready to go. So what I do, we already got one coming out here. So let's get this Fernictibus Cancerides lined up. Let's drop some, drop a dubia in there for it. I like to give like a natural response to them. So I, I like to set it near them so they can hunt it, essentially. And that didn't happen. So we'll We'll do the, the feedings that you guys are used to seeing where the tong feeding style. Oh, oh we're kicking. <laughs> the food ran into the hide. That's all right. Got to fail on our first one, but what we'll do is we'll get that guy back out here shortly. All right, let's go for the other one. This is uh, our Fermectivus Cancerides number two, or number one, I should say. So maybe what we'll do is we'll let it know that there's food by using our hair trigger. It's ready. <laughs> and we'll do a tong feeding. Normally I kind of squish the dubia too. At that time I didn't do it. So it uh it ran off fully. Take a peek here and make sure this is filming it good. Oh, there we go. We'll, hope we'll probably get a good happy dance here. I need to add a second sc or a screen off of this so I can view what this is doing without having to get up and look in the camera every time. Yeah. 
So what I did is I uh, grabbed the hair trigger with my tongs here and I just kind of moved around on the substrate and on the bark and simulated basically a critter walking around. Never used my digital camera for a video before, so we'll have to see how that looks. While that's going on, I'm going to try to recover this dubia in this enclosure with uh, my Frank from McBiss Concerities number two and see if we can grab it. second shot with this other one here. There we go. I think I need to change the setting on this camera here. It's not quite focusing in right. There we go. A little better. These will be the smallest teas we're going to feed in this little section here. Looking pretty good. All right, let's move on to another one. So we got the Fermictus Concerities out of the way. Uh, let's do our large Gramostola, I'm sorry, Brachypelma albopelosum Nicaragua. This is the first one I got a while back. This one is my largest one. It's pushing four inches plus. See if we can get it to come out. This will be the largest here we're gonna feed.
Come on, you big beauty. I really like the Alba, uh, sorry, the Nicaragua a lot better than the Honduras. The color contrast is so much more pretty. There we go. Come on. There you go. Let's make sure we're filming it in all of its glory. Beautiful, beautiful. This might be six inches. It's pretty big. She's very shy with this bright lighting. Or I don't know if it's a, a female, but this one's very shy with this bright lighting. Let's see if we can lure it out thinking there's more food. Often I do give them two small ones, so they may think she they may think there's more out here. Look at that beautiful curly legs. <laughs> there we go. How's that? Wow, that's intense. I'm sorry, I don't have a second one for you. We'll give it a moment to see if it's going to do a happy dance for us. I think they're a little bit thrown off because of the bright lighting. They're not used to this. It's convinced that uh, there's not a second one, so it's going to retire back into its hide. Beautiful. Such a beautiful tea. Alright. Let's move on to another one. Let's do our uh, Grandma Stola Polka Peas. We're going to lure it out. <laughs> that didn't take long. There we are. Let's make sure we got good, good focus here. Whoa. You can hear the crunches. <laughs> I 
Aww. Oh well. No happy dance, just a retreat to the HUD. I'm sure it's these bright lights, because normally they stay out. Okay, let's do a uh, hard pack cheer up poker peas. Beautiful golden blue egg. Baboon. Let's see. And we'll get this one on. Uh... Medium size one in here. There we go. This one's coloration is went quite dull recently, so I believe it's gonna molt. Crunch crunch. <laughs> It's actually due for a malt pretty soon anyway. This lens is kind of lousy, it doesn't let very much light in. I may have to get another light that's kind of targeting right here a little closer. We're getting a crazy happy dance over here by the Fermictipus Concerides. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it stopped. Maybe you can see it in that camera. This one's pretty close to molting. It's it's uh, almost uh, double its time since the last time it molted. Yeah, I do need to get a closer light for right here. There's a few I've been looking at. Maybe I can use these a little closer. Thanks for watching my video. If you happen to enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the button to subscribe. There's a video that's recommended for you. And here's my playlist for AGT Exotics videos. Catch you next time.